In this video, I will walk you through the process of manually cleaning the printer head of an Epson 4900. This process will be very similar for any wide format Epson printer. You should have already printed a nozzle pattern test print, know the printer is clogged, and tried using Epson's method of cleaning. The supplies you'll need to clean the underside of the printhead are Freehand's Amazing Liquid Inkjet Head Cleaner that can be purchased from softwareforscreenprinters.com Paper towels Thin, stiff cardboard or paper Let's begin. First, let's free the printhead from the docking station. Initiate the nozzle pattern test print. As soon as the printer head begins to move, remove the power plug from the back of the printer. Done quickly, the printhead should be free to move by hand. With the printer powered off, manually roll back the film until it is no longer loaded. Using a paper folder or firm piece of non-corrugated cardboard, fold two connected paper towel sheets over one edge. Gently slide the attached paper towel edge into the printer's media eject slot until it covers the path of the printhead. Gently slide the printhead over the paper towel. Be careful not to rip or fold up the paper towel. Squirt approximately one milliliter of Freehand's Amazing Liquid Inkjet Head Cleaner onto the paper towel. Slide the printhead over the cleaner. Gently scrub it for a few seconds, then leave it over the cleaner for 45 minutes or more. Gently scrub the printhead again. Then push it all the way back to its starting docked position. Remove the paper towel and cardboard insert. Plug in the printer's power cord, then press the power button to start the printer. Once the printer is ready, load the film roll. Let's print another nozzle pattern test print. It should be clean, or much cleaner than before. If the nozzle pattern is still showing clogs, clean the printhead again using either Epson's utility or the options on the printer control panel. Still clogged? Repeat this manual cleaning process. Still having an issue or need some advice? Submit a tech support ticket from softwareforscreenprinters.com.